Are you disappointed with that? I'm disappointed we didn't get what I thought we deserved, to be honest with you. Um, listen, I hope people saw that because if they didn't, then uh, you know we're not all on the same wavelength because we we created some good opportunities. I thought their goalkeeper was absolutely magnificent with, I don't know, three saves, world-class saves, four world-class saves. It was unbelievable, those saves, do you know what I mean? Um, and it's just the same old pattern, really, for us. You know, we uh, they make mistakes and uh, it doesn't happen for us, but uh, if we make a mistake, then uh, there's often a little bit of help for the opposition to, uh, to, to get something back. And, Again, that little bit of help allows sometimes um, an, an opposition team to gain a little bit of momentum sometimes because free kicks and ones that were 50-50 go against you sort of thing and all of a sudden you're, you're a little bit under pressure but, and then they get into your penalty area. But we got into theirs more than they got into ours. I respect Harry and QBR and see how they win games. They're solid, good, great players. I'll tell you what, our boys did some work today and we, we play some football, in my opinion. Now, if other people, if Yeovil supporters don't think that we play football today, then I'm not your man. Was it a penalty? Was it a penalty? Well, listen, you know, as I said, it was a, it was a uh, accumulation of 50-50 decisions that went against us. I think he pulled him down, but I also thought there was a little tug on him before that. Now. You know, I don't know whether it was because I haven't really seen it yet, and I'm not really talking about that. I'm talking about when the game goes. It's like it seems 50-50 decisions. Uh, you know, give it to the opposition or, or whatever. I don't know. It just seems too many times. But yeah, you know, nobody's biased. We know that. We've talked about that before. But they certainly can change the momentum of the game with decisions that people make. Um, so we we'll wait and see. But you know, listen, we had 9,200 people at the ground in the stadium. They appreciated the boys when we came off, I know, because they, they clapped them in. Um, I thought, you know, other than getting one or two goals, which we had the opportunity to, but for an England goalkeeper, um, and then it all could have been very much more uh, happier. But, you know, I'm going to be happy tomorrow for the simple I'm going to think back, I'm going to watch the video, and I'm going to see that at times we outplayed a, a very, very experienced quality team. It just shows to show that in this division, you can talk about off the field, their budgets, their, the money mm. that they spent on players. But when you told me beforehand, 11 versus 11, there's not much between the top and near the bottom. Well, there isn't, not with us, but you know, it's, uh, we, we can't keep being unlucky. Do you know what I mean? Like, we don't want to be relegated being the unluckiest team ever, sort of thing. So, you know, we've got to start doing a little bit better when we do get them opportunities because, you know, you're not always going to have Robert Green in goal. Um, and, uh, and we've just got to keep. Keep plugging away, keep believing in our game. I thought, you know, for a, a team of our standing against a team of theirs, I thought we took the, tried to take the game to them, we kept the ball, um, you know, against some real, we know they're quality players, of course they are. Uh, they've been around at this level a long, long time. But uh, we can go home happy in the fact that we, uh, we gave more than what we got. You can go, ha you can go home happy in that sense, but is it hard to pick players up when they're not getting results? Uh, well, yeah, they'll be disappointed because they're competitors. But you know, you, you you can't forever, you know, wrap them in a comfort comfort blanket sort of thing and just say you've done well, unlucky again, boys. You know, we got to say you've done well, but we got to be improving in this area, this area, this area, these situations, and that's what we'll do. And we'll be relentless in our coaching and in our attitude. Um, and, uh, and we will, and we'll make sure that you know, come the end of the season um, we're, uh, we're in a position to say what a great season because it's not our football that's letting us down at the moment. There's other little bits and pieces. I thought that was going to be your lucky jumper for a minute. Well, it might have been. We might have got beat five, might we? We only got beat one. <laughs> Gary Johnson, live with me at Jewish Park. Liam, Liam Fontaine came off after 37 minutes with a hamstring. Hamstring, yeah. Is that Obviously, he's only had a few minutes to, to look at it. Right? Well, he had a cut eye first of all, and then he had to sprint back, and uh, you know, he, he, he obviously just felt his hamstring, so we had to make that make that change, um, which we did.
Is it likely to leave him out for longer? Or is that I would have thought so, two or three weeks, maybe, maybe three or four. We'll have to see what grade it is, so we'll have to have a look at that because we haven't got Webby at the moment, mm-hmm. although he comes back after uh, after Bolton. Mm-hmm. Um, did I say Bolton? <laughs> Uh, that's because it is, um, <laughs> and we got to be ready for that one, you know. And uh, the boys have got a week to dust themselves down, and uh, we'll pick them up again because all we can do is what we're doing at the minute, and and hope that we get that little bit of lady luck. A lot was made of today with QPR being last time we played was in eighty eight in the FA Cup, the last time we played Bolton was in the FA Cup, which is how you should. Right. It just shows how far the club has come, but yeah. you just want to make sure they're competing. Well they, well, they would have been great FA Cup third, fourth rounds, weren't they, you know what I mean, and uh, and you only expect them once in a blue moon, mm. we're getting them every week now, aren't we, and uh, you know, our supporters were great today, because I thought they, they was appreciating what was going on, there was enough things happening to make it worth the gate money and, and the numbers that came through the gates, I hope, I hope you all see that, or am I just looking at it through rose coloured glasses, I don't know, I'll, I'll know when I read your paper, listen to your... Um, radio station and have a look at our website and, and other websites but uh, I love Harry to death and, uh, and I'm pretty sure he would he would say that uh, you overall played a good game. Uh, and, and finally obviously with, with Fonts over a little while then maybe back a week later would be tempted to dip into the low market or replace? I'm not sure, I'm not sure yet, I'll have a look at it, I'll have a think about it and you know and then uh, suss it out in a couple of days time maybe.